the Islamic dilemma. This would be our main argument against, uh, against Islam. And you could look at a short video I made on this topic. It's called uh, The Bible, the Quran, and the Islamic Dilemma. But the problem we have is basically this. This is a Bible, and this is a Quran. This book contradicts this book. The, the Bible says that Jesus is the divine Son of God who died on the cross for sins and rose from the dead. This book denies those, but here's the problem. The Quran affirms the inspiration, preservation, and authority of the Christian scriptures, the Torah and the gospel. It tells us to judge by the Torah and the gospel. It tells us that the Torah and the gospel were inspired by Allah. The Quran says that no one can change Allah's words. The Quran says we have no ground to stand upon. It's chapter 5, verse 68. We have no ground to stand upon if we do not stand fast by the Torah, the gospel, and all the revelation that God has given us. So the Quran constantly affirms the scriptures of the Jews and Christians. And yet, the scriptures of the Jews and Christians completely contradict the Quran. So by affirming scriptures that completely contradict Islam, Islam self-destructs. How so? Well, there are only two possibilities here. Either the Bible is the inspired, preserved, authoritative word of God, or it isn't. It's one or the other. If it's corrupted, then it's not the inspired, preserved, authoritative word of God. It would be a, a corrupted, flawed thing. So, we either have the inspired, preserved, authoritative word of God, or we don't. If this is the inspired, preserved, authoritative word of God, Islam is false, because Islam contradicts this. On the other hand, if this isn't the inspired, preserved, authoritative word of God, Islam is false because Islam affirms the inspiration, preservation, and authority of our scriptures. So if this is the word of God, Islam is false. If it isn't the word of God, Islam is false. By affirming scriptures as the word of God that completely contradict the message of Islam, Islam just self-destructs. Either way, no matter what we have here, Islam has to be false. And if that's the position that the Quran forces Muslims into, it cannot be the word of God because it just doesn't leave you any way to, uh, to maintain a coherent picture of what the Bible is. It forces you into a complete, utter, total contradiction. And so it can't be the Word of God. Thank you for watching. God loves you with the perfect love of a perfect Father. We are called to be God's children, quick to follow in faith. I want to encourage you into your Bible today. I want to encourage you to be open to fasting, all kinds of fasting. I want to encourage you to declare Psalm 91 over a friend or your family today. And I want to encourage you to seek God's still soft voice, that voice of perfect love, for your next step now, right now.